The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. here with realagriculture.com. I am back here today with another Canola School episode and I have here with me Sheldon Taze who is a technical service specialist with BASF. How's it going today? Good, how are you doing Carol? Good, we're out in the field. It can't be, uh, can't be too bad. So we're here today as we stand in this field that has no snow left on it. Uh, producers are starting to get the itch to kind of probably get out in the field. When it comes to planting canola, what are some of the soil temperatures you're going to want to be looking at? Well, really, you, you want that soil temperature in between that 8 and 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, canola will germinate as low as 2 or 3 degrees, but at that temperature, it's going to be really slow coming out of the ground, and it's going to be really susceptible to a lot of diseases and insects at, at that point. So the warmer the soil temperature, the faster it's going to come out of the ground and, and be able to start establishing and using the sunlight to grow. Now, when you're looking at, uh, like I said, some of these producers maybe get a bit of an itch to get out there. When is too early? I mean, I know it's going to be very regional, but when you're looking at the soil temperatures, is there anything that's kind of, you know, on that line? Well, I guess from a soil temperature standpoint, like I said, uh, any, anything around that five, six degrees will germinate that canola and even cooler temperatures. But you really want to look at the forecast that you've got with the weather coming a couple weeks out because if you've got those colder temperatures coming, uh, daytime cool temperatures, that canola is just going to sit there. It'll be susceptible to those flea beetles and other diseases. And that's not good for that canola, right? You want to get it out of the ground, get it growing quickly so that it, it can establish and, and get that crop uh, off to a good start. Now, how actually sensitive is that seed? If it's in the ground and you know, we might, you might be looking at some cooler temperatures coming, how, how sensitive is that seed going to be? Well, it, it is a small seed, so it, it definitely is sensitive to those cooler temperatures. Um, we just don't want it sitting there not doing anything, right? So uh, the cooler the soil temperature, the less active it's going to be. So we, we want those warm temperatures. Now, when we're talking about uh, soil testing, you talk about doing it a couple times a day. There's important parts of the time you're going to want to do it at. Do you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, so it's good to go out twice a day, probably around that 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then probably again around supper or just after supper time. And you take the average of those two temperatures, and that kind of gives you a, a good base for what the soil temperature is going to be. So. Okay, and elaborate a bit more on why we really need to drive this message home. You know, it might be a step we want to skip, but why is it a step we shouldn't be skipping? Well, like I said at the beginning, uh, if that soil temperature isn't warm enough for that seed to germinate uh, and get growing quickly, it's just going to sit there and it's going to be susceptible to different soil diseases. Insects are going to come along. If it's just out of the ground, flea beetles show up. That insecticide is only good for so and so long once that, once that seed goes in the ground. So we really want to protect that canola and get it off to a good start. Okay, awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, at BASF, we uh, enjoy helping give growers agronomic advice. Uh, please feel free to give us a call. We'd love to help growers with their questions. Okay, thank you very much, Sheldon. Thanks, Kara.